I think it's difficult to stick to a cholesterol-lowering uh, treatment plan, mainly because it's not something that you feel is working. You just have to believe that it's working. When you're asking somebody to take a medicine every day for the rest of their life, it's very important for people to understand why they're doing it. You know, if they don't understand they're taking it because their risk is high, they might go and get their cholesterol checked, or they might go and you know, lose a bunch of weight and feel like I've made these changes and I no longer need this, but it may still be giving them benefit. You know, there's no risk to stopping a cholesterol lowering medicine in the short term. The long term risk is that unless you take the medication, you're not going to get the risk reduction. High cholesterol has been linked to heart attacks and strokes. For people who have had a heart attack or stroke, the risk for stopping your medication is the highest because those people are the highest for having an additional heart attack or stroke. And taking statins um, and certain other cholesterol-lowering medicines reduce that risk. If you don't take the medications, you don't reduce the risk. I think the most important thing to understand is that treatment of cholesterol is to lower your lifetime risk of having a heart attack or stroke. So there's no emergency. You have time to ask questions, to think about what the right plan is for you. And the great news is, is unlike a lot of conditions, we have treatments that we know really work. And those treatments like statins are very easy to take with very few side effects, very little cost, and have, you know, tremendous impact in reducing heart attack stroke and having people live longer.